What up, y'all? It's Crew, also known as the Rainy Storm, checking in for the Neptunian series. I am your cosmic boot work astrologer specializing in Mars activations as well as North Node and South Node consultations. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at a rainystorm.wix.com slash info. Okay? You can find me on all social media at a rainy storm. Thank y'all for welcome. Thank y'all for welcoming. Thank y'all for coming through to the Neptunian series. We are currently collectively Neptune in Pisces. Okay? So, you know, as we go down the line, even if your Neptune is not in Pisces, I would highly suggest that you go look at that video because this is the energy that we're in. Neptune in its home right now. So, yeah. Um, we're going to just jump right into it. All links below. Um, the tapestries, my artwork at the shop. Uh, bottles, all that kind of stuff, readings, Mars activations, all that information below, so you could check that out. But nonetheless, let's just get into it, right into it. Neptune. What do we have? The energy of Neptune, and then we have the energy of Aries. So we're going to be talking about Neptune and Aries today. Uh, so let's talk about Neptune first. Like, what is the planet Neptune? What is the energy of Neptune? This is the ruler of Pisces. The Pisces is the spiritual realm. Okay, this is the subconscious mind. You know what I mean? This is the things that are hidden from you, that they're there, but then they're hidden from you at the same time. These are things that you have to kind of go within yourself to back, basically pull up. All right. So this is the collective consciousness is mine as well. So anytime, once again, we have Neptune and Pisces. So the collective consciousness is going through this, this um, ascension collectively. Um, so uh, this is what we're all kind of subconsciously going through at the same time. This is the dream realm. Okay. This is the 12th house as well. So this is kind of where things clear out before you get back to the first, which is Aries, the first house. You know what I mean? So things have to funnel through Pisces. Things have to kind of go through Pisces in order for the things to reset. You know, so as we're moving into these Pisces, this Pisces new moon as I record this, um, it'll be past the Pisces new moon by the time y'all see this, but we're starting a full seven year cycle. Okay. Um, this actually lasts for 14 years. The Neptune uh, placements usually last every 14 years. It changes every 14 years. The last time Neptune was in Aries was 1862 to 1875. All right. So it's been a long time since we've been into uh, Neptune and Aries transit, all right? This is the warrior God, all right? So when Neptune meets up with Aries, Aries is the warrior, you know what I mean? So this is spiritual warfare. This is physical warfare as well, okay? Just because it's Neptune doesn't mean it's... The things that's happening in the spiritual realm is also happening in the physical realm. We have, to, we have to keep that in mind when we're dealing with Neptune. Yes, it's very much so in the portal, in the spirit, in the realms, you know what I mean? In other dimensions and other worlds, you know, but it's also happening right here, right now, just in a different form. You know what I mean? Um, intuition, you know what I mean? Psychic gifts, psychic connections, connections to God, um, connections to God, connections to source. You know what I mean? This is the warrior. Once again, uh, warrior like spirit. So Aries here is very much so the one, the first in, on the front lines, the first to move, to first to spark, to the first to swing, you feel me? Um, this is definitely, uh, after we leave this Neptune and Pisces with all the deception and deceit and everything that, and not even just deception and deceit, because sometimes we get focused on confusion, deception, and deceit when, we, when it comes to Pisces or Neptunian energy, but it's so much deeper than that. You know, a lot of people are going to be coming into their spiritual, I know this is not about Neptune and Pisces, but I just want to let you know before we enter this Neptune and Aries, what's going to be happening, you feel me? So Neptune and Pisces is more focused on like spiritual ascension and connecting back to source and connecting back to our higher selves and things like that. When we get into Neptune and Aries, by the time we connect back to those higher, our higher sources and get attuned with those sources, Neptune and Aries is going to kick it off. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, now that I know who I am, now that I know where I'm from, now that I know where I come from, now that I know the gifts that I daily have, that I've, that I've come to this world to have, how am I going to use them, you know? And with Aries here, you know, we could use them for destruction, you know, cardinal fire. We could use it for destruction, starting shit, and then leaving the shit, literally fire blazing the trail. Or we could literally take that energy and actually funnel it into something else. So you're going to see new leaders arise. 
in this time period, it's about 2020, what is it, 2025, is when we'll be heading into Neptune and Aries, just about. Um, is it 2025? I think it is. 20. Yeah, 2025 is when we'll be heading into Neptune and Aries next. So, um, new leaders arise. You know, uh, Aries is very much so like the person that tries to convince you of like their beliefs and, you know what I mean? I don't think that's more lower vibrational energy because Aries in a Aries in a higher frequency is going to just kind of lead by example and then other people will kind of come through and um, other people will kind of come through and follow if they, if they drive with it. But Aries is very much so like, I'm going to tell you what I want. I'm going to tell you what I need. This is how I feel. Do you, you know what I mean? Believe it. You know what I mean? Believe it because I said it. You know, but Aries is learning with Neptune and Pisces that you kind of have to let people kind of gather. Um, you kind of have to let people, yeah, they can have their ear in, yeah, they can listen. But all you could do is, like I said, lead by example and, and people will come and people will follow. You know what I mean? Um, very much so strong religious ties. Either strong religious ties, spiritual ties, or none at all. You know what I mean? Like Aries is not necessarily black and white, but it's like all or nothing energy. It's very much so it'll go all the way in or something or all the way out. You know, it'll start stuff, sometimes not finish it. But if it's if it's in, it's in. And if it's out, it's out. There is no really no in between there with Aries when it comes to the Aryan quality and Aryan energy, you know. Um, so try not to project once again. Um, try not to project your own personal beliefs or no or non beliefs, you know, onto other people during this time. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be aggressively doing this to people. Um, and if you don't believe what they believe or if you don't feel how they feel, it can get very tumultuous in that. So just keep that in mind collectively, even if you don't have Neptune and Aries, just keep that in mind collectively that this is the energy that we will be moving into. OK, um, so this is also the pioneers, you know, so Air Neptune and Aries can be its own worst enemy, because when we're talking about the energy of Aries, it's the self. It's the first house, it's the self. You know, this is how you're coming off into the world. So it can be very easy for you to, to deceive your own self. It can be very easy for you to deceive, you know, like, instead of, instead of everybody else doing things or things happening to you, you could be playing yourself. You know what I mean? So you just want to be very, get very grounded in this energy, be very aware. You know, a lot of people are going to be wanting to just kind of take off and do stuff during this time, which... There's nothing wrong with that. Definitely, you know, Aries is a risk taker, so it's going to happen. It's bound to happen. But you just want to be discerning of, you know, are you pitting yourself against you? Because it's going to be very easy to do that. Um, every time I think of Neptune energy, I think my mind is playing tricks on me type shit. But really, like, just make sure you're checking in with yourself frequently to make sure that, like, you're not projecting or there's not projections being thrown on you um in your in yourself in your body and you know what i mean so you could kind of move the way you want to move um passionate but can be persuaded once again this has to do with the self neptune energy neptunian energy um can be uh deceived you know um so once again other people are throwing their projections onto you you know what i mean especially if you don't have that strong Aryan center you know you have to have that strong Aryan center as to knowing what you want and neptune is going to is going to introduce this or if it's not already instilled in you Neptune is going to guide you in that getting connected to that 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 oneness and higher self here so try not to get bamboozled in this energy it's going to be a lot of people are going to be we're starting to see it now with Neptune and Pisces but especially when Neptune goes into Aries it's going to be a little bit more aggressive with the um bamboozledness so you kind of have to stand your ground know where you come from, know where you're at, know what you will accept and know what you won't accept, and then move like that, move in that, in that, in that energy, in that space, definitely. Um, questioning the status quo, breaking walls down, you know what I mean? Aries is not afraid to be like, calling that shit out, I'm calling this shit out, I'm calling it out, it's fucked up. Aries is going to say it, Aries is not going to wait or, or, uh, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll address the elephant in the room, you know what I mean? Um, it wants to go beyond like what has been done or the norm of things and move through that to create something new, to create a new path to trailblaze. You know what I mean? I feel like if we talk about trailblazing energy, it's Aries. Aries is like the trailblazer of the Zodiac. You know what I mean? 
So blazing your own trail, creating your own path, creating your own way business wise, because um, Aries is also, even though it's very childlike in nature, it's very business oriented, very business savvy in a sense, even though it might need a little structure when Aries is in something it's in it. So, you know, uh, we could talk about this for Earth, but I just do want to like kind of touch on this. This is where you're going to see a lot of new uh, business models pop up. You know, because Air, or Neptune is very creative. Neptune is very innovative. Neptune is literally digging from the imagination to pull things out. So with Aries here, it's going to be thinking of new models, new things to come up with to make things work. Aries is not afraid of figuring how, figuring out how to make shit work. Aries is the build, you know, in the, in the sense could be the builder, the construction. Kind of like Taurus, but, you know, as we move into Taurus, it, it wants to be like, okay, so how can I make this work more if, more efficiently, um, but in a way that I can use it. You know, it can work better for me. So then in turn, it'll work better for other people. You know what I mean? So Aries is going to try to figure that shit out. You know what I mean? Um, new wave of artistic endeavors. People ain't going to be no... People... Listen, music... Um, I mean, it's happening now with Neptune in his home. But especially when um, Neptune goes into Aries, um, you're going to start to see more... I feel like more freedom fighting music coming out. Like more uh people like that battle battle uh type of energy that battle warrior type energy coming out with neptune and aries um more like hip heavy hitting beats hard metal beats or hard you know rocking your your dome type of beats um pisces piscean energy is more like melodies like more soft melodies more like trans putting you in a trans kind of melodies i think of the internet when i think of uh neptunian energy neptunian neptune and pisces energy like i'm here like SZA, like all these her all these artists kind of have like this not all of them but they have like that melody type of thing when neptune was in the aries you're going to hear more heavy hit boom boom on your system speakers blowing out you feel me when neptune the aries last but not least we have the survival of the fittest you know like like i said how can we make this work Aries does not sit around and wait for other people to do things for it. It just starts it and it does it. You know what I mean? You you can't, you know what I mean? Especially in the world that we're in right now, you know, of course, coming together is a thing, but also knowing how to survive. Aries is the survivor. You know what I mean? The sole survivor. You know what I mean? So Aries is, Aries is not only equipped for uh, battle, but it's equipped to survive. It's, a, it's equipped to get through the, the extreme weathers or the extreme... Um, you know, the extreme, uh, you know, obstacles that are, you know, trying to hit it and, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's equipped for that. It's ready for that. It's ready to go to war. It's ready for action. Um, and you know, it's about that life. You feel me? So this is my Neptune in Aries. Um, I'm going to be moving on to Neptune and Taurus and we're going to be finishing off this week with Neptune and Cancer. So y'all stay tuned. Much love. Y'all already know what it is. It's a rainy stone checking in, checking out.